Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are going to see how to send and receive broadcast in Android. So if you don't know what is broadcast, so I already make a video like uh, what is the need of the broadcast in Android. Let us suppose someone switch off the internet connection, someone change the internet connection to airplane mode. So on that time, you can receive some event and you can perform anything in your application. But there is one more use of broadcast receivers in Android and believe on me, it is one of the most amazing use of this in Android. So let me tell you what is the use of broadcast if you want to send a broadcast or receive a broadcast internally in an Android application then how it could be beneficial. So just take a one possible case scenario. So for example if you have a two activities in your Android application and on first activity you write some code. Now in second activity you have some different portion of code but you want to execute the code of the first activity if something happen in second activity. So think about it and how you can do this because you don't have any kind of context of first activity you don't have any kind of reference of first activity so you need to how you can run that code or run that piece of code in first activity so on that time you can use broadcast receiver it does not matter whether the instance of your first activities is have or not it doesn't matter you can directly execute the code just sending the broadcast this is why this is the one of the most amazing thing and literally it can save you definitely anytime if you have facing trouble while doing some diff this kind of operation so before moving on the code part let's see a demo what we actually going to make so for this i have to open my phone so i open this application send broadcast so you can see now i am on my home activity which is first activity now if i click on move to second activity you can see now i am on second activity now the thing is that if I click on send broadcast, you can see I am getting the toast broadcast received. But this toast message is set on the first activity, not on the second activity. And you can see the I also use the flag clear talk to destroy the instance of first activity. So if I press back, you can see I get exit from my application. So what it mean? It means that the first instance of first activity is not existed. And still I am able to get the toast from first activity. So literally we are going to create this thing. So this is, video is going to create a very amazing so don't for the delay now let's start the video and if you don't like the video now then please like the video and if you don't subscribe to the channel now then please subscribe to the channel so now let's start the video so first of all open your android studio and uh, now i open my first activity which is main activity so this is already it is a very less written code but we will going to see how this code is going to work so first of all inside my activity main activity we can see you what we have we have this button and it has id bt second and this is just a text move to second activity so this is just a one thing on our main activity now let's come inside our kotlin file so here we can see forget it for now and you can see what we have we have a button i assign the xml id into a kotlin id and then forget about this line as well and this thing as well so now the first thing which I what I have to do if someone click on button second then what we have to do we have to move from here to our second activity so you can see I just use the intent here to move from this activity to another activity now open this Another activity which is the name of the activity is new activity open this xml file so inside this xml file what I have I have just a button which will going to send the broadcast if you click on this so inside this you can see I assign the xml id into our kotlin id and just if someone click on this button I just can call the function send toast broadcast so now the main working of the broadcast receiver start here so first of all if you want to send broadcast from your current context you can see I am sending to the broadcast from my new activity. So how you can do this? So first of all, you have to use this intent. Val intent equal equal intent. Now inside this, you need to mention the broadcast Excel. So why it need to mention the broadcast Excel? Less because let us suppose you are using hundred of broadcast receiver in an Android Studio, hundred of broadcast in your application. So on that time, how it going to differentiate which broadcast is for which one? So for this, we will going to use broadcast Excel. So now. Here this come into the play broadcast Excel. 
so inside this you can mention any string i just mentioned the com.example.send broadcast.send toast because it, this broadcast is going to send toast but you can give any name it is totally depend on you it is your choice whether you want to give the package name or not it is totally depend on you and i assign this inside a variable private where broadcast action and now i just set the extra now you can also set uh, data if you want to send so intent.put extra you can also set use this if you want to send data as well using your broadcast and after this you need to call this function send broadcast intent so you can see this function is not exist here because this is the inbuilt function of android so if you just type here send broadcast you can see it will going to show this send broadcast intent and you need to pass your intent here so it will going to send it so broadcast is like broadcast doesn't need any kind of context and it doesn't need where it is alive or not you just need to send it it is just like a wave which will traverse inside the whole application so you can see now you can receive this broadcast anywhere wherever you want so now let's come on to the play because i want to receive this broadcast on my main activity so first of all i also need to mention declare the variable of broadcast action type because i am going to receive this kind of action broadcast now the main thing if you want to receive broadcast in any of your activity first of all you need to register the broadcast so if you don't register then it will not going to receive it so first of all register it so i just call this function register broadcast and inside this i just pass the application context after registering it doesn't matter whether the context of this is exist or not you can use it but first of all you need to register it so register broadcast and inside this you can see i just pass the application context and now let's see the function of this working what is the working of this register broadcast so inside register broadcast you can see i just create a variable of intent filter type and inside this i mention my broadcast and now i just use this inbuilt function of android context dot receiver register receiver so you can see inside this receiver you need to pass your broadcast app and your intent filter so now what is this broadcast app so this is the broadcast app which will inbuilt function of android and you can give any function name i just give here broadcast app but you can give broadcast app new whatever you want to give you can give but the main thing it should extend this broadcast receiver class so you can see i just created a, another class here in our class broadcast receiver so if i copy this toast control c copy and delete this so you can see if you just type this you can see it contain implement it contains some methods so this is the on receive method so whenever it going to receive this it will going to it can perform anything whatever you want after receiving your broadcast so this is the totally working of your broadcast receiver now after this this is if you now after this what on the only thing is left you can see you need to mention this broadcast in your android manifest.xml as well where you want to receive so i want to receive my broadcast inside main activity so you can see i just mention here action android name and i am going to receive this kind of broadcast inside this activity so if you have more you can mention here as well and i am going to receive this send toast so hope you understand how to create broadcast how to send a broadcast and how to receive broadcast so you can see the toast message is written here inside main activity but i am going to show the toast from my new activity so this is what i am trying to explain you can use your function code from anywhere if you want now let's run this application and see whether it is working or not and if it is working fine then we'll end this video so project build successful let's move on second activity and if i click on send broadcast you can see i am getting this message now let me change the toast message here if you are confusing so new app something like that uh, run this so you can see this whole code is written inside main activity and we are going to execute this from our new activity let's run this and new app you can see it is working fine so i hope guys you learned something new in this video if you have any question if you have any query just comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video please subscribe the channel and please share the video if you have any question just comment down below one more thing after registering after registering your broadcast and if the work is finished now you need to unregister it otherwise it will going to cause memory leaks so as well so you can study it on more on google docs or android docs so i hope guys you learned something new in this video so see you soon in next amazing video thank you